Hello everyone, my name is Leslie and I am the founder of Catching Waves Yoga. I am with you guys tonight to really help Amanda and Hannah Crowds for Courage get this Kickstarter on the move. So tonight's yoga is going to be a self-love, heart-opening yoga um, with anyone who has went through having cancer, um, you're a survivor, you, maybe you're even currently going through chemo and feeling those effects. So tonight is 100% with you guys in mind. Um, but if you're just jumping on, tell me where you're from. Give me a like, give me a heart, give me a love. Say hello, um, share a little bit of your story, and uh, we'll get started in just a second. I want to share just a little bit more about um, Amanda and everything they have going on with Henna Crowns for Courage, because it really is an amazing thing. Um, if you don't know who Amanda Joy is, she is just a vibrant soul. She is truly a person that is there to provide a space for those that are going through having chemo, giving them a moment to share their story, to feel beautiful, um, and to be heard in a time where they're keeping it all in. They're trying to just keep their life together, right? So it is not an easy time. And for Amanda to be able to come and give them this opportunity um, to feel safe, to feel loved, to feel like a human again, um, it really truly is a blessing and an amazing thing for Amanda to be able to share her love of art, her love of God and spirituality in this realm of using art to heal. Um, and I think it's really amazing. So if you guys can, it would be amazing if you can go click on the link that I have left for you in the comments and give any donation you can, even if it's a dollar, it's going to help them reach their $30,000 goal to get all of these books that they're going to create. Again, they take beautiful photos after these women have been crowned. They share their story and they're going to be able to put them in cancer centers. And we really can't do that without your help. So if you can, when we're done with this session, go give a donation. It will mean the world to them, but also to me. The reason I felt so pulled to do this class for you guys tonight. It's not just because I'm any yoga instructor, which I am, cool, but um, Amanda and I kind of connected in a time in my life where my mom was going through cancer and having the chemo and going through all of that. And unfortunately, she didn't get to have a crown from you know Amanda at the time, but it was so cool that our paths crossed right at that moment where I was learning as a caretaker, how to take care of my mom, and Amanda was learning and growing how to communicate and to share these women's stories. And it's her and I've kind of grown together and separately, and it's just really amazing. And what I will say as the caretaker, um, there's a lot that comes with it, um, mentally, emotionally, physically, and if those mental and emotional things go unchecked, they do start to come up physically. And so again, if you're going through or have already gone through all of the changes from chemo and maybe even having surgeries to have things removed, you're still probably holding on to that at some point, whether it is a physical manifestation, an emotional manifestation, and through yoga, we can truly start to release this. And again, um, just a little of my story, after my mom had passed away, I had a lot of psychosomatic effects where I was very stressed all the time and then all of a sudden I have this crazy medical issue and through yoga and through breath work I've been able to basically put it in remission and it is just a powerful tool just to remind us to put ourselves first so with that let's get back to the mat um, if you have a pillow have that close by and we're gonna start laying down so grab that pillow so you can put it underneath of your head and come all the way down to the floor you can close your eyes, just allow your feet to fall open. Bring one hand to your belly and one hand onto your heart. And everyone take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, even bigger breath this time. Exhale, release it all out. One more just like that, in and out. Great job. We're just gonna lay here for just a moment, allowing your body to find that stillness, to find a grounding, 
to bring all of those energies to a lower level of calm, content, safety in our space that we're sharing today. So if you're noticing that your mind is wandering and this is moving too slow, I want you to start to count your breath because our voices in our head are constantly going and we have to remember we are not our thoughts. And so by focusing on the breath, we can limit what those thoughts are doing to us. So with that next inhale, we're gonna to count to one, two on the exhale, three, four, and keep that going until you get to 10. And just again, noticing how that makes you feel, focusing on that breath, really bringing your mind into your body, acknowledging what's going on, noticing the sensations that are coming up, that you're feeling, whether it's physically or emotionally, and not giving them any extra energy, just allowing them to be, to just experience them in the moment. And again, take a big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Great. With that next inhale, roll on your side and we're going to come up into a seated position. Crossing your legs or finding a position that's comfortable for you. You can take your pillow and put it under your hips if you would like. Or to the side. Just find something that you can keep your spine nice and tall. And then when you're ready, bring your hands right into your lap. Go ahead and close your eyes again. Take a big breath in. And now, inhale, big breath. Exhale, press it out. Inhale, all the love in. Exhale, send it out to everyone. One more, just like that, in. And out. Great job. We're just going to sit here in a moment and breathe. And I want you to start to think about some of your favorite qualities of yourself. Maybe it's you like your nails, you love your hair, maybe it's how beautiful your eyes are. Think of a few of those favorite things that when you see those features, you feel like the strongest, most beautiful goddess that you truly are. And smile. Maybe even say to yourself, I am beautiful, I am worthy, I love you, and breathe. And just pay attention to what sensations start to come up, what emotions start to come up as we start to talk to ourselves and feel into ourselves. This is the time that we start to release all that is not helping us surrender what is useless to you so that way you can truly begin your healing journey. Now while your eyes are closed, I want you to start really envisioning what you hope to look like and to feel like in five years from now. Really start to envision that as if you're painting a picture of exactly who you're going to be five years from now. Breathe, smile, feel it, experience it. Notice the colors that you're choosing. Notice the scenery that you're in. Notice what you're wearing in this vision of you five years from now. And I hope that you're smiling, the biggest smile, this beaming smile that is intoxicating to everyone around you. Now I want you to take your right palm and place it right in between your eyebrows, your third eye. And I want you to take your left hand and place it right at the base of your skull. And at the same time, we're just going to continue visualizing who we are five years from now. 
a stronger, more courageous you, fully in love with yourself, in love with your experience of life. And again, just sending out that intoxicating love that radiates from you into every other person that you cross paths with. And by pressing into our third eye and pressing in to the back of our head and our occipital lobe, energetically, we are sealing this both in our eyes and into our third eye. Take one more big breath in. And exhale, release your hands down to your side. One more big breath here. Great, you can open your eyes or keep them closed. Find what's comfortable for you. On that next inhale, I want you to lift your ears all the way up to your shoulders. And as we exhale, drop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale, one more, just like that. In and out. Great. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Bring your palms together. Really press them firm into your hands. And stretch through your arms. Look up towards the ceiling. And again, just feel the energy around you, the sensations in your body, your breath, your mind. Take one more big breath in. And exhale, release your hands down to your side. Tuck your chin into your chest. Really lifting through your heart here. Inhale, arms go up, look towards the sky. Calling in all of the energy to support you exactly where you are right now and to help you get to every step that you need to go through. And exhale, bring your hands down, chin to chest. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, lower. Great job. Inhale, arms go up, keep them up this time. Exhale, just release that left hand down. We're going to lean over to the left side and turn your chest towards this guy again, really opening up through that heart space. Focus on that breath. Don't forget to smile. Really stretch and lengthen through your arm here. And feel your ribs expanding on the right side. Just even through utilizing your breath, you can slowly start to heal yourself one breath at a time. And the more energetically we feel in a positive space, the more that breath is truly gonna do for us. So one more big breath in. And as we exhale, bring both arms back up to center. Big inhale. Exhale, release that right arm down. Lean over to the right. Turn your chest towards the ceiling. Let your heart shine. Take a big breath in and out. One more breath here, big breath in. And exhale, let it go. Great, you can bring your hands back down onto your knees here. I want you to bring your fingers underneath of your kneecaps, lengthening through your arm. And again, lifting through that chest, send your gaze up towards the ceiling. We're just gonna really work on this upper body because any time we are going through something stressful, we tend to hold it all in here and we get stuck and our breath becomes really limited and that's when we start to round and when we become compressed and depressed in our body, that's what's also happening in our mind. So we begin to open up, release that tension. So again, look all the way up, take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to tuck our chin into our chest and pull our back towards the wall behind you, really feeling that lengthening from the base of your head all the way down through your tailbone. Feel your shoulder blades wrapping towards this front wall. Holding it here, just focusing on that breathing. Big inhale and exhale. With that next inhale, we're gonna really press into our tailbone, rounding up, straightening through the spine. And again, sending your gaze all the way up for a big breath. And on that exhale, chin the chest, slow and controlled, roll through your spine, holding it there. And maybe find a subtle rock, left and right, 
just enough that you can feel the space around your shoulder blades opening. And if your eyes are closed, just really begin to envision that stress being released. Don't forget to breathe, big inhale. And exhale. Great job. Inhale, press into that tailbone, roll yourself all the way back up to center. We're gonna take that pillow and just set it aside for now. And come on to all fours, bringing your knees directly underneath of your hips, your wrists directly underneath of your shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide here as you plant them onto your mat. And you can choose to keep the tops of your feet flat onto the floor or curl them under. Find a nice straight line from the top of your head down to your tailbone and take a breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Great. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your hips, send your gaze forward, really allowing that chest to lift towards the wall in front of you. And as we exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, roll through your spine, lifting your back towards the ceiling this time. Press into your hands. Inhale, lengthen, drop that belly, send your gaze forward. And exhale, round, chin to chest. We move through our cat cows, waking up the spine. Keep moving with that breath several more times on your own. And if it feels comfortable for you, close your eyes and begin to connect within. Feel the emotions that might be running through your body. Feel just even the motion, the sensations that are coming up. Just acknowledge them. Don't call them out. Don't say, oh, that hurts. This doesn't feel good, right? Just acknowledge where you might be feeling that sensation and just take your attention to that spot of discomfort, dis-ease, and breathe. Maybe even telling yourself again, I am strong, I am beautiful, I love you, I am healing. Find any phrase that sounds perfect for what you need to hear right now. We'll do one more. And then when you're ready, come back into that neutral tabletop position. Go ahead and curl your toes under this time. I want you to open your knees as wide as your mat. You're gonna walk your big toes in towards one another, keeping those heels lifted. You're gonna take your right hand, plant it underneath of your nose, and on an inhale, open up that left arm all the way up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. And out. Really again, feel your ribs lifting here. Big breath in. And out. If you have any sensitivity in your shoulders, you can always bring that hand down onto your shoulder cap or even down onto your hip, just rotating your chest towards the ceiling, opening up through that heart space and really allowing your front body to breathe. Take a big breath in and out. Great, one more big inhale at the top. Exhale, we're gonna tap that left hand down to our right. As we inhale, I want you to resist that left arm all the way back up. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, resist it up. Exhale, tap. Inhale. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Great job. Go ahead and plant that left hand this time. This time, go ahead and take the tops of your feet, plant them down onto the mat. And when you're ready, open that right arm all the way up to the ceiling. Rotate that thumb to the wall behind you so you can really open up through that chest space. Allow your heart to truly shine. Focus on that breathing. Big inhale. And exhale. One more. In. And out. Big breath at the top. Exhale. Tap it down. Inhale. Resist it up. Exhale. Tap. Inhale. Last one. All the way up. And exhale. Plant it down. Great job. Go ahead and send your hips to your heels and slow and control. Walk your arms out in front of you. Release your forehead all the way down. You can take a moment to completely surrender here into our child's pose.
Go ahead and close your eyes. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With that next inhale, find your flow up to our tabletop position. Bring those knees under your hips, wrists directly underneath of your shoulders, and go ahead and curl your toes under. Nice flat back here. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, I want you to begin to lift your hips towards the ceiling, coming into a downward facing dog. Now it's okay if you have a nice big bend in your knees and your heels are lifted. We haven't really stretched through our legs yet. So just find the variation that's going to be comfortable for you and within your abilities. Take a big breath in. Exhale, sink your chest towards your thighs a little bit more. Feel yourself pressing into your index finger and your thumb pads, really locking your arms right in place. One more big breath in here. And out. Inhale, bend your knees, look towards the front of your mat, step or walk all the way up, bringing your feet close together. And then when you're ready, just release your upper body over your lower body, tuck your chin into your chest, and just hang out here for a breath. Inhaling in, and out. Get a nice big bend in your knees so we can open up through that low back. Right, because when we feel that tension in the top of our back, it goes all the way down because everything is connected, you guys. So when we think it, we begin to feel it. So if we're stressed and we're thinking we're stressed, imagine what that's doing to your body, right? So this is why we take the time to breathe, to move, to release. On that next inhale, I want you to lengthen through your legs. Bring your hands all the way up to your thighs, straighten through your upper body like you're a figure seven, and just send your gaze past your nose. Take a big breath in, and exhale, bend your knees, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, coming back into our halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. In that next inhale, we're going to come all the way up to standing, rolling through the low back, mid back, upper back, loop those shoulders up, back and down, really opening through that chest, hands come to your side, close your eyes, take a big breath in, and out, great job, go ahead and bend those knees, drop your hands down, stand all the way back up, big circle with your arms overhead, slight back bend at the top, and as we exhale, forward fold, inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, Exhale, fold, release all that you don't need. Go ahead and plant those palms onto your mat, angling your fingers towards the corners of your mat here. And then when you're ready, step one foot back and then the other. Shift your body weight forward so your wrists are directly under your shoulders here. You can always take a modified variation if you need to. Always find something that's going to feel good for you. Don't stress or strain in our practice. That's not the point. So take a big breath in here into our plank. And as we exhale, keep your elbows in your side, slow and controlled, lower all the way down to the mat. Belly kisses the mat, uncurl your toes. And with that inhale, we're just gonna lift our head, chin, and chest away from the ground into our baby cobra, letting your heart shine forward. Take a big inhale. And exhale, release your forehead down. Inhale, lifting it back up. Really press into your pelvic bone, into the tops of your feet here, and feel your shoulder blades reaching towards your back pockets of your pants. Nothing else when you have pants on right now, maybe your yoga pants. And then when you're ready, exhale, release it down. And with that next inhale, really press into your hands. We're gonna lift our entire upper body away from the ground here. 
Squeeze through your glutes so we can keep that low back engaged, nice and safe. And then relax your shoulder blades down your back. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, look over your left shoulder. Again, pressing into the tops of your feet here. Noticing what sensations are coming up. And maybe you stay in stillness or maybe you just find a slight rock. Listen to your body. It's going to tell you what movements that it really needs. Take one more big breath in. And exhale, we're going to release it all the way down. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, look over that right shoulder this time. Again, squeezing through the glutes, pressing into the tops of your feet, releasing your shoulder blades down your back, getting this nice stretch through the front of your body. One more big breath in. And exhale, release. Inhale, press it back up into our tabletop and continue that motion, bringing your knees Open as wide as your mat, hips come to your heels, coming back into our child's pose. Release your forehead all the way down. You can keep your arms extended if you would like, or you can walk them back by your shoulders and just allow your shoulders to release forward here. Feeling the weight pressing into your forehead. Maybe even find a rock left and right, massaging through your forehead, through your brow bone, that third eye. And then come back to center, right into that stillness. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, catch your breath. Exhale, let it go. One more, in. Exhale, release. Great. Just let that breath come to a normal rhythm. In and out through the nose. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today, but this time I want you to be a little more specific. With that next inhale, find your flow all the way up to our downward facing dog. You can come into your tabletop first if you'd like, and then send your hips high. See if you can lengthen through the back sides of your legs a little bit more this time. And if it's not comfortable, just bend your knees, it's okay. All of this comes with time, right? We say, I'm not flexible, I'm not capable, and those are just things we tell ourselves to convince us not to do something new that might be scary and might be so beneficial for you. So right now, tell yourself, I am proud of myself for showing up tonight. I love myself. I'm beautiful. I'm courageous. I'm strong. I'm confident. And take a big breath in. Exhale, bend your knees. Look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Go ahead and forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Really press into your feet here, bend those knees. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, just bring your palms together at your heart. We'll take a breath there. In and out. Great job. Go ahead and release your hands down. Bring them back behind. Interlace your fingers. Now you can open them wide like you're trying to hold a little box behind you or try to bring your palms together. Roll your shoulders back around your body here. Press into your feet and when you're ready, draw your knuckles towards the ground, lifting that chest. Send your gaze towards the sky. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, we're going to slow and control, begin to come into our forward fold, keeping that bind. If it's not comfortable, just release your arms forward. Really opening up through our chest space here. 
letting your heart shine, opening up your self-love to you and to others. Take one more big breath in and exhale all the way down, forward fold in that bind if it's available. If not, go ahead and release and just bring your arms down in front of you. Tuck your chin into your chest. Take one more big breath in here. And on that exhale, slow and controlled, release your bind, bring your arms down. You can either bring them down to the mat or take opposite hand to opposite elbow and just find a slight rock side to side. Right down. Take a big breath in. And out. Great. Release those hands. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms. Step one foot back and then the other. Shifting into our plank. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lifting all the way up into our up dog. Head, chin, chest, all the way away from the floor. And as we exhale, you can choose to go back into a child's pose or all the way up into a downward facing dog. And release your forehead down. We're gonna be here for two breaths. Inhaling in. And out. One more in. And out. Great job. Inhale all the way up into our downward facing dog. Finding the movements that work for you. Holding here for one breath in and out. Great job. Bend those knees, look forward, and only step your right foot forward. Planting it in between your hands or moving your hands so they're around your foot. Take a big breath in, shift your body weight forward, lift through that chest, and then when you're ready, exhale, lower that back knee, uncurl your toes. Now, if you have a hard floor, you can take your mat and roll it over so you have a little extra padding, or if you have that pillow close by, you can also put it underneath your knee for a little extra protection. I want you to press into the floor, bring your right hand onto your knee, left hand to follow, press into your knee, lifting your upper body, opening up through that chest here. Take a big breath in, and now, Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, pull those knuckles, or <laughs> knuckles, elbows, <laughs> down and back, you guys. Opening up through that chest. Inhale, lengthen arms up overhead. Exhale, lower. This time we're gonna get some motion going. So inhale, send your body over your thigh. Arms come forward. Exhale, pull it back. Really open up through your chest. Feel that energy radiating out away from you. Inhale forward, exhale, pull it back. Keep it going, move with that breath. Again, noticing those sensations that are coming up in the body. Maybe it's a warmth, maybe it's a tightness, a burning. Maybe it's an emotion you feel. Just allow it to move, to flow, to release. We'll do one more. Bringing it forward, sending it back, holding it here. Again, looking up, arms come up and overhead. And when you're ready, go ahead and plant those palms down. Curl your back toes under, lift that knee away from the floor. Step your left foot up to meet your right forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms. Step only your right foot back this time. Shift your body weight forward, lift through your chest. And on an exhale, release that back knee down. Uncurl your toes. Bring that left hand onto the knee, followed by the right. Lift through your upper body. Take a breath here. In and out. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, elbows go back and down. Inhale, body comes forward. Exhale, bring it back. Great, keep that going. Again, noticing the sensation that you're feeling. 
Feel that breath as it enters in, fills your chest, and releases all that is no longer needed for us. Find this beautiful flow with your body as you move and as you connect to that breath. Bring it forward and as we come back, we're going to hold it there, lifting through that chest, looking towards the sky. Close your eyes and smile if you need to. I am worthy. I am loved. I am courageous. I am strong. I am healing. I am healed. I am a survivor. I will get through this. All of these things coming up. Feel the emotion, feel the sensation, and just release it as needed. One more big breath in. Exhale, plant those palms down, curl your toes under, lift that back knee, step your right foot up to meet your left, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. And exhale, fold. Plant those palms. Step your opposite foot back this time. Follow by the other. We'll move through our vinyasa, shifting into plank. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lifting into our up dog. And exhale, send it back into our child's pose. I want you to go ahead and keep your knees into center this time. And slow and control, begin to release your upper body over your lower body. Use your breath, take a big inhale. Exhale, begin to release down. You might feel the pressure with your belly on your thighs. And start to visualize the back side of your body lifting here. You can take both hands into a fist, stacking one on top of the other and releasing your forehead down onto your palms. And just breathe, big inhale. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Purge it all out, we don't need it. Inhale, all that love. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, all the light. Exhale, all the darkness. One more big breath in. And out. Maybe release one hand. And then when you're ready, bring that forehead all the way down to your mat if it's available. Walk your hands back by your feet, opening up those palms towards the ceiling and really allowing your shoulders to release forward. Coming into this cocoon, feeling every sensation in your body. Maybe you're feeling this energy tingling in your hands, maybe even in your feet. This opening through your chest, a relief of that tightness that was once there. Notice the emotions that might be coming up. Maybe it's this stuck fear that is coming out, this stuck sadness of feeling so stuck and so alone in such a deep, dark place for so long, and just letting it go. And maybe that is tears, Maybe that's through a deep breath, whatever that may be. Let it go, it's not serving you. Release it and breathe in all of the light, all of the love, feel it deeply. Bring a big smile onto your lips. Take one more huge breath in and out. Bring a smile onto your lips if you haven't yet. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. With that next inhale, bring your palms onto the mat underneath of your shoulders and begin lifting that upper body away from the floor. 
sitting up nice and tall here. If you need to, you can take that pillow and place it in between your thighs and your calves here, creating that space for your knees. Really loop those shoulders back and down your spine, lifting through that chest. Take a big breath in and out. Great. I want you to go ahead and bring your right hand onto your chin and just glide your chin back in space again, helping release this tension in that upper body. Holding it there. You can release your hand down. Take a big breath in. On an exhale, press your chin forward. Extend through the neck. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, extend. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Just allow it to come to normal. Maybe find a little head roll. Slow and control from one side to the other. And then reverse. Maybe you're feeling a little extra lightness through that upper body. A little extra mobility here. And then come back to center. I want you to move that pillow out from under you if it's there. Go ahead and curl your toes under. And again, walk your hands back onto your thighs as we get this really deep stretch through our feet. Because again, everything is so connected. So if we're feeling tension all the way up in our neck, it could be stemming from our feet, you guys. So we gotta make sure we're supporting every ounce of your body. Physically, mentally, it is all so in tune and so much more powerful than we believe. So again, I want you to close your eyes, bring that right hand onto your third eye in between your eyebrows, your left hand to the base of your head. And again, I want you to really picture what that you is five years from now. The beautiful you, courageous you, radiating of pure love and pure joy because you're so happy that you've taken the time, you've taken the energy to work through all of this, to release it all and to heal. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, sweep them up and overhead. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, this time we're gonna lift our arms, lift that entire upper body. And exhale, slow and controlled, release our hips back towards our heels. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Slight back bend at the top as you press your hips forward here. And exhale, release your hands down to your side. One more, just like that, inhale, lifting. Holding at the top, relaxing your shoulder blades down your back, relaxing your stomach here. Allowing everything to release, to extend. And exhale, relax yourself all the way down. You can bring your hands forward. Send your legs to one side of the mat or the other. Release your bottom all the way down. You're going to shift yourself into the center of your mat as you extend your legs forward. Flex those toes in towards your nose here. Move the flesh of your buttocks from one side to the other so we can really come onto our sit bones. Bring your palms onto the mat right next to your hips and lift through that chest. Tuck your chin back in space. Take a big breath in. And out. One more big breath in. Out. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Look up. And as you exhale, release your hands down. Maybe it's to the shins, ankles, bottoms of your feet. But I want you to start bending from your hips, not from the middle of your back. So if you're hinging at the hips and your hands are on your shins, and this is all you can do, that's okay. Sometime we'll release enough that we can get lower. But for today, you're here and honor where you're at today, right now. Take a big breath in. Exhale, see if you can sink a little deeper. Not all the way to the bottom, it's just a little baby step, right? One more big breath in. And exhale, release, gliding your hands back. We're gonna plant the bottoms of our feet down onto the mat. I want you to extend your arms out in front of you. Take a big breath in, nice lengthening through your spine here. 
and exhale, sink it back until you can just barely feel your core engaged, holding it there for a breath in, out, inhale, lift those arms up as high as you can until you really feel your core engaged, take a big breath in, out, see if you can sink a little lower, really press your feet into the mat, helping yourself stay grounded here, inhale, and exhale, bring it forward, wrap your arms around your shins, take a big breath in, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, chin to chest, come into your little cocoon, and let it go. Honoring yourself wherever you're at right now in this moment. Loving yourself exactly as you are. And giving yourself grace for everything that you have gone through, that you will go through, and that you will survive through, knowing that it'll make you stronger on the other side. Inhale, lift through that chest. I want you to go ahead and extend that left leg long. We're gonna take that right foot, set it outside of your left knee, bring your right hands back behind, fingertips come onto the mat or your palm, whatever is comfortable for you. As you inhale, lift that left arm all the way up. Exhale, twist, connect that elbow to the outside edge of your right knee. And then when you're ready, look over your right shoulder, flexing those left toes in towards your body and sitting up nice and tall, focusing on that breath, big inhale. Exhale, in, out. One more, breathe in all the love. Exhale, send it out to the world. Great, inhale, we're gonna send our both arms to the opposite side for a counter twist. And then come back to center. Extend that right leg long, bring your left foot outside of that right knee. Left hand comes back behind. Inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, twist, connect to that left knee, and then look over your left shoulder. Big breath in, and out. Make sure you're smiling, honoring how much you have done, how much you've moved, showing up for you, for me, for henna crowns the courage, and for all of us working together for one goal, happiness, kindness, love for everyone. Take a big breath in and out. Inhale, come to the opposite side, counter twist. And then sit up nice and tall, extend those legs long. Open your arms out in front of you, palms facing one another. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, slow and controlled. Release your upper body all the way down. Extend those arms overhead, big stretch here. Yawn if you need to. And exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Catch and move your hands here. And give yourself a little tug, lifting that tailbone away from the floor. Just giving your spine a little massage. And then coming into stillness right in the center. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. And then send them through your knees, catching the outside edges of your feet. And just like a happy baby, we let it go. Send our feet towards the sky. And you can stay right here, or you can begin to rock and find something that feels good. Smile, feel out what your body needs. Maybe you want to extend one leg long, bend the other, or just roll around on the floor. Maybe you want to take your peace fingers to your big toes. You can really get a little extra length through your legs. And just breathe. Right here, being present in this moment, acknowledging the emotions that you're feeling, the sensations that are coming up in the body, in the mind. And if it's the, I can't, I'm not good enough, so remember, you are not your thoughts. We can acknowledge that we're experiencing those thoughts, but they're not us. They don't control us. And we just breathe, and we smile, and we be still. Take one more big breath in, 
And on an exhale, bring the bottoms of your feet together. Release them to the center of your mat. Bring your hands right at your hip creases. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, press your palms deep into your thighs. Feel a little opening through that low back. Inhale, release your hands. Exhale, press. One more, in. And press. Great job. Go ahead and release your arms down to the floor. Palms open to the ceiling. Extend one leg and then the other as we move into our final resting pose, Savasana. This is our time to just be still, to be present, to notice what's going on in our mind, our senses around us. So take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, breathe in all of the love. Exhale, send it out to the world. And just be still. And with that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes. <clears throat> and wiggle your fingers. Bat your eyelashes, open and close. And when you're ready, roll onto your side facing me. Use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in. And out. With that next inhale, press into the floor, come all the way up into a comfortable seat. Eyes closed, hands in your lap. Take a big breath in. And now, bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And now, be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips, inhaling in, and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center, elbows go wide, inhale, and exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big breath in. And exhale, bow forward, sealing your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you are feeling so much better in your body, in your mind, in your soul. And remember, if you guys are feeling inspired, help Henna Crowns for Courage, help Amanda with this mission of gaining $30,000 to help share all of these stories. There's a link right in the description. We can make sure there's one below. And go donate anything that you can, a dollar, five, 10. Share it with your friends, share it with your family. The more we can spread the word, 
the more we can help this mission grow. So again, thank you so much for joining me tonight. You can find me at Catching Waves Yoga with Leslie Roberts over in my group if you would like to join for yoga in the future. And hopefully you are feeling amazing and have an amazing night. Bye.